Alright guys, it's Hitran here, the unnecessary programmer and today we are creating a simple Python game that is going to gamify all of our meals for the day. Because what better thing to do with our time than screw up all of our meals and use our unnecessary programming skills, of course. But let's not lose any more time and go over the idea and the rules of the game. This is the game we are going to build. You are this basket and you can move left and right on the ground. Then from the fridge different presents will fall. After they reach the ground they will despawn and spawn back at the top. Every present will contain inside a randomly generated food. If I decided to gather this present by placing the basket below the present, I must eat the food. Pretty simple rules, when I'm happy with all the products I've gathered or I don't want to risk it anymore because it's going to be disgusting anyways, we just quit the game and we have to eat everything that we have gathered. If the combinations are too disgusting, we'll see about it. Let's start with the basics of our pie game. We initialize a simple game with a constant width and height. Of course, I'm gonna give it a name feed me because I'm expecting this game to earn my salary and feed me for the rest of the day. Then we just add the main game loop and show the background. We do not forget to add the quit event, otherwise we will be forever stuck on this screen and we must invoke the greatest power of the task manager. Fairly simple, we now have our basis, but try not to subscribe too hard because I see you are impressed, because now we are going to write our own hero, our basket that gathers all of the presents. We are going to start again with some more constants, because we don't want our basket to go outside of the game screen. Then BAM! Two more methods for drawing the player and for handling the speed with which we are going to move. It's pretty important to add a rectangle around our player. This is going to be used in a little bit for collision detection. Then in our game loop we add the checks for not going outside of the screen. Again, pretty important. And all that's left is to just draw the player. Smooth, smooth. The only thing left is to create our presence. Why presence you say? Because we don't know what food exactly are we gathering in our huge basket. Because all the foods are going to be randomly generated. So now let's finish up and let's test out our game. Again the script is more or less the same approach but our present is going to move on the Y axis. We are going to use an array full of all of our foods we currently have in the fridge and we are going to generate a random food on every new present generated. Of course, we want to give ourselves the ability to collect only the presents we want and to stop whenever we feel satisfied with our meal. The game is done! Now let's go to my fridge and see all the food that I have available because I want to put all the relevant data in our array. Great, this is more or less what we have to work with. 
So now let's praise the lords of the random generation for some good combinations. Now it's time to play our game. It's time to do 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 Nice! That was well above my expectations actually. I'm feeling lucky. Maybe I will try to generate my next meal as well. Let's see. Banana with barbecue sauce? Oh, let's see the meal. With what I will be combining this barbecue sauce? I think I'm going to go for the waffles. Mmm! Nice idea! Thank you everyone for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it made you laugh or you learned something new. I really enjoy making games. I, before I was doing games with libgdx, now I'm trying a little bit with Pygame and I'll probably focus more on this in the future. Uh, so if you enjoy a content like this, slap like and subscribe for more videos. This makes me really happy and keeps me motivated. For now, bye!